Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for just taking the time out, you know, educating yourself on your gift and being open and embracing the things that was hard to do before. So, you know, it's, it's just, it's all a process. Like I keep telling y'all, it's all a process. So with that being said, much love to all, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while already and have not, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't, so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. And if you're comfortable enough, drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like you're getting good information or just good vibes that you would love to share with a fellow empath or a loved one or family friend that is really going through some trying times right now, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even show on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And once again, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. Y'all don't know how much I feel blessed and I'm humbled to be able to do what I do. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Um, today, um, my meditation song, and it's so beautiful, they got this, it has it like that, like the third eye, you know, when you're, uh, meditating, um, it's called 417 Hertz, the energy of life tree, charge the energy to your life and healing meditation, and I will post that link in the description box below, and today my video is about Twin Flame 101, Hey Okas, elevating to the next level of consciousness i'm so proud of y'all y'all make me feel like the mother hen with my little chickadees i promise you you do because it's like you know i'm jonas and i'm giving a shout out to him because he you know he has really been on the stuff and you know he asked very good questions and stuff like that and i try to answer them the best way i know how you know whatever source and universe gives me you know when y'all ask me the questions that you know they probably been trying to you know send you send you the answers so they'll send them through me to go ahead and answer your questions and it's just a lot of us are embracing our gifts you know some of us are just starting to come into what we're known for what we're doing what we've been doing for our whole lives and just was not conscious about it you know um being able to explore things that are very foreign and unknown to us you know be able to embrace yourself and open yourself up to universe to say okay I get it. I give up. What do you need to tell me? What do I need to do? And you know, and you're soaking it all in and that's what you're supposed to do. I'm so proud of y'all. Y'all y'all make me want to cry and I ain't gonna cry for real because I was just faking. But I'm just saying, I'm so proud of y'all. But you know, it's it's just like uh, it's just I am I'm, I'm trying to come up with the words for it, but you're on that level to where you you know what nobody can't tell you nothing even though they can tell you something nobody can't tell you nothing you know because you, you've been there you've been on that crossroad you went to that that road to where you're like okay either this is gonna make me or it's gonna break me but I'm not gonna allow this to get to me you know because we stubborn like hell you know hey okas it, it's like y'all some bad man pajamas I promise you you are because it's just like we take a you know like like the Timex come up the, Timex commercial, you take a lick and keep on ticking. You know, we go through these crazy things in life, you know, and it's not meant to break us or punish us. It's for us to see ourselves for what we truly are. We're we're peeling back those layer of onions, and you know, even though that mess stinks and it makes you cry and all this stuff, but it's it's making you stronger to the point where you were peeling so many of those layers back, you know, like me. I used to cry when I used to cut onions. Now it's like, that's my favorite smell. Now I'm just like, oh, shoot, I'm about to put this in my stew. Or, oh, my God, I'm about to put this in this soup or whatever. And now I'm able to take it for what it's worth, knowing it's going to add some kind of content to my life. You know, it, and onions help so many ways. You can put them at the bottom of your shoe. I mean, bottom of your feet while you're sleeping. It soaks up all the unwanted toxins. And that's what, you know, that metaphor of an onion is. It's taking everything thing that is no longer serving you things that are you know you no longer need you know like when I can sit up here and joke about you know me not smoking any weed no more that is actually a blessing because I used to use that as an escape like you know when people ask me you know uh Rosalind you know I'm really trying to quit but I'm trying to see is what is this going to do if I don't you know it helps you know even though you might be on something that's not healthy for you you know um like with 
you know, marijuana is good for certain purposes. You know, if you're a cancer patient or an AIDS patient or a person that has, uh, like, seizures. Um, I used to have seizures, like, for, like, about seven to eight. Well, I think it was, like, about six, five to six months, maybe eight, you know, and that was no joke. I, I felt I give props and prayers to anybody who still has to go through that and you know and they're dealing with epilepsy that is the worst feeling that you can possibly have because it can disorient you and all those other things but just be able to God allowed me to have weed in my life when it did because I was going through a lot there was some stuff he was like you know what I'm gonna allow you to have this because the stuff I'm about to throw at you, you you can't deal with it with a sober mind not yet you ain't equipped for that yet so when you have used something and it is helping you but you have to also look at the things that you're addicted to it's nothing but an escape because whether or not you know after you don't drink you know drank something or you know took a pill or you know smoked through a pipe and got high it's only escaping from the problems that are always going to be there until you get ready to fix it so it's just like you have to see it for what it's worth it is not doing anything except keeping you in that dark place for too long so i can actually say you know what i'm glad you know even though i'm going through a lot of hell right now but it's all in my mind you know i'm going through stuff but i don't have to keep on continue to go through it because i can always let it go it's like if it can't if i can't change it and it's elevating me more than it's keeping me right you know in this negative spot then let it go but you're, I mean, when you're starting to see things for what they are, it's just like, okay, this is just a part of my life I had to go through. Yeah, it was a tough time, but I see myself healing from it. I see the lessons that, it, you know, it sent to me for me to learn. I'm seeing people for who they are. So, you know, you ask God to reveal to you or you ask universe to reveal, reveal to you the things that you no longer need you know remove them out of your life and that's when you know you're coming up to the next you know level of consciousness when you know okay this is my gift what we're heading towards is you know god and you know devil going through this like a arm wrestling thing and the devil is just trying to contradict trying to trying to contradict god saying oh i bet you i can get this and this and this and that so they're gonna play on your sympathy they're gonna play on your ego you know, things, when you start changing for the better, the ego going to try to throw second doubt into you. So whatever you're addicted to, you know, like, I used to smoke cigarettes. I smoked cigarettes for over 20 years. Now, I mean, it's just like, it doesn't even bother me if somebody smoke a cigarette in front of me. That don't make me want one. I don't, I know I don't like the smell. You know, um, there's times when I smell weed, and I'm like, dang, that stinks. And then I'm like... Dang, that smell good as I don't know what I'm like. No, Rosalind, you don't need it no more. Don't you go there. You know, you've been doing good. You know, it's going, I'm getting right going close to five months of, you know, not smoking anything. I haven't had a drink since Thanksgiving, you know, and that was only like a half a cup and I still felt bad. I told y'all there's times I don't had a dream and woke up crying like, oh God, I don't smoke. Don't block my blood and I'm about 10 paces back. Then I'm like, wait a minute. Girl, if you don't quit crying, that was only in a dream. You all right? You know, and it's just like me. No, I'm facing a lot of things that I didn't think I was going to be able to face without cigarettes or without, me, you know, rolling up a blunt and saying, you know what, well, F whatever I'm going through. I, you know, I, I'm tired of dealing with this. But no, when you can actually deal with things, you're already a strong person. But it's just like you have dealt with so many things. You're dealing with other people's energies that's gravitating towards you. And you're dealing with personal issues that's you know you've been dealing with for so long and just didn't know how to let go you didn't know how to see yourself out of it but when you can all say this is just something in my mind that I keep keeping myself a prisoner for because there's a lot of times when we keep ourselves in that spot that dark spot when we have lost somebody if we have gone through a breakup you don't lost a job or some, you know a person that you know for up teen years is just treating you like you some scum off off the earth or somebody out on the street they don't barely know that's some hurtful stuff but then if you can look at it like i tell y'all if you can look at it in a different light step outside the box because you know we're good at doing that we try to have people look at things in a different perspective and we got to do that to ourselves at times when you cool out not be all up in your feelings and you can see you know what i ask things to be revealed to me you got to be careful what you pray for. Because when you pray for something, trust and believe. It's going to, you know, ain't going to be everything you ask for, you're going to receive right away. But when you ask things to be revealed to you, 
you start seeing things for what they truly are. And it could be really messed up when you see it. But when you actually see things for what it's worth, you're like, you know what? This is a blessing in disguise. Because maybe this person wasn't supposed to go with me. Or maybe they would have messed up something I'm heading towards. That's a good thing when you're finding out what you need to find out when you're heading towards things. So be able to be grateful to the universe. It, it might hurt like hell, but you be thankful. You know what? I'm glad I released this and be able to look at it head on and knowing I can handle this and knowing this is a part of my life that I have to add to a chapter of my book so I can go ahead and turn that page. Now, what else do I got to deal with? And when you can start seeing things for what they are and, you know, it can be messed up at that time, do you. That's all you got to do is do you. And it, it's just a blessing when you can be able to look at things and see it for what it's worth. Knowing you can embrace your gift, even though it might seem crazy and weird. And it's just like the more you find out about your gift, the more things add up and more things you're elevating yourself to. So, you know, embrace what you have and, you know, see, you know, try to keep a firm grip because we know we're going through an emotional roller coaster right now that a lot of things we're going to have to release and a lot of things we're going to have to come to terms with and let it go. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Much love to y'all. I didn't think I was going to do another video because I was talking about to go out and do nature walk. But I had to go ahead and get this out there because it was just like, okay, I can do another one. So I will see you on my next video. Just turn 11 11. Much love to you. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. I love the chance to hear from you to let me know that you're, you know, you feeling what I'm coming from. Um, let me know and I will go ahead and give you a shout out. On my next video, I'm giving uh, much love to Norman Smith, Pleasure, uh, Treasure Seasons. I'm sorry, I tried to say, uh, I'm looking at two different words at the same time. October Lover 30, uh, 31, 31, no, October 31 Lover. I'm sorry, I'm being dyslexic today. And Christy uh, Mize. Much love to y'all. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I will see you on my next video. Much love, peace be wild oh yeah if i don't come back tomorrow that lets you know and i did so many videos i had to go ahead and you know refuel again and just go ahead and y'all see if y'all see me tomorrow if not you'll see me the next day so much love peace and be wild